Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and I have a very important video for some of you out there today who are looking around for an all-natural, effective cure for the dreaded bed bug. So let's get to it. Now this video is not exactly gonna be talking too much about the actual bed bug, but rather how to get rid of them effectively and without harsh chemicals and stuff that's safe for your family. And that product is called Diatomaceous Earth. Now just a quick word on what Diatomaceous Earth is. Basically, it is plankton that have died and fossilized long ago, and they've made these big deposits in the oceans or in, in waters, and they're mined up. And what it is is that their, uh, their skeletons, their skeletal fossilized remains are teeny tiny, and they're, they're razor sharp. And what it does to things like bed bugs and fleas and cockroaches and any kind of bug that has an exoskeleton. Those little teeny weeny fossilized pieces actually get up in their, uh, their plates into their exoskeleton and cut them to shreds and it dries them out and they cannot live. So it's a 100% organic uh, cure, if you will, uh, because it's going to be an insect killer that is effective and it's this stuff, diatomaceous earth, if you get the food grade kind, it's safe enough to eat. You don't need to worry about your animals getting into it, your kids getting into it. Food grade diatomaceous earth is actually so safe that many people are starting to use it as a health supplement, which I'm not talking about in this video, but I will talk about it in a future video. But let's get to how you use diatomaceous earth to get rid of those nasty, wasty bugs and get some sanity back in your house. Now the first thing you've got to do is get rid of all of the bugs and all of the bedding. You need to get it into your uh, washing machine and wash it several times, two, three times on the hottest water setting. Now, you're also then going to second, go and vacuum every square inch of everything you can think up near or anywhere near the affected area, anywhere near it. I'd even go two, three bedrooms past do your whole house, consider it a spring cleaning. Vacuum it up, then you're gonna clean your vacuum cleaner out. Now here's what happens. You're gonna take this diatomaceous earth. Now here's an important note. This stuff, like I said before, it's really sharp on a microscopic level. And what happens is those things work for your benefit when it's killing those insects. However, you don't wanna breathe it. That stuff gets into your lungs and it can really hurt your lungs. So wear a mask. Be very careful when you're dispensing this stuff down that you're not poof, making big you know, puff clouds and you're breathing it because it's not good for your lungs. Okay, so now here's what you do. You basically take a small amount. You can even use something like a, um, uh, uh, like a tomato ketchup squeeze bottle, just something that's got a real narrow uh, lid on it kind of thing. Put some diatomaceous earth in to that dispenser and now that you've got everything cleaned out, everything's washed, it's been several times, you've vacuumed like crazy. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make perimeter defenses. You're gonna squirt that stuff right onto the carpet, gently pat it in. You don't wanna be able to go poof and then there's a big cloud. You just want enough there. Because what happens, you make a perimeter all the way around the bed, all the way around the couch, all the way around the edges of every way that one of those bugs could get into your house, your bedroom, all of it, you make perimeter defenses. And what happens is when those bugs crawl over that stuff, it gets up into their exoskeleton, shreds them up, dries them out, they're dead. Now here, this is very, very important. Those mama bugs can lay eggs and they don't hatch right all at the same time. There could be several stages of bed bugs waiting to hatch. So you need to rewash the bedding every few days. Don't let it go three. Rewash, rewash, and then vacuum up all of the diatomaceous earth again, and then reapply every three days. And you need to do this for at least two weeks, or else you're not gonna. What'll, what'll happen is that you'll be like, oh, this is great. The bed bugs are gone, you know, two days in, three days in, and you'll be like, wow, this is awesome, 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 and think you're out of the woods until a week later when they're right back. And the reason why is the mamas had laid those eggs before they died. Now they hatched, you need to kill them too. So you've got to go a minimum of two weeks doing this, reapplying, rewashing every three days max. So 
diatomaceous earth an organic, easy way that nobody's gonna get sick. You're not dealing with nasty chemicals. It's actually kind of interesting because as I was going and buying this bag here, uh, you can even get it at Home Depot and Lowe's and all those places. But the thing that was funny is all the major chemical companies that sell you know, bed bug treatments and ant killers and all that kind of stuff. I looked at some of their products and almost all of them, the main ingredient up to 90% of their product is just regular old diatomaceous earth. So that ought to tell you something there. They're just throwing some nasty chemicals in there, but this is really what's doing the job anyway. So I can't stress enough that you make sure that the diatomaceous earth that you get is 100% food grade. Remember that? Remember, don't breathe it. Dispense it slowly, work it into your, uh, your surfaces. And then uh, thirdly, now, now you've got a 100% all natural solution that's gonna kill these things off. Keep going, make sure you don't stop. You gotta do at least two weeks. I, I, I'd personally do it three. Uh, so just make sure that you do that and you're gonna have a solid natural way to get rid of that you know, nasty, nasty problem. So if you liked the video, thought it was of help, please do click subscribe below. It greatly helps my family out. And I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have yourself an amazing day.